What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about all the methods to power off the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and how to set that side key to display the power off menu. Now, depending on the device you're coming from, powering off the Z Fold 3 may seem a bit out of the ordinary or it may seem normal. Now for me, I'm coming from a Pixel device, which is the Google phone, and the side key is the power key by default. Now when it comes to that side key on the Z Fold 3, it's set to activate Bixby by default. Now Bixby is nice, it seems to work really well, but you may want that side key to function as a standard power off button. Now the Z Fold 3 is featured on the Samsung playlist, so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. As for today's video, it was filmed on the Google Pixel 5a 5G and edited on the Google Pixelbook Go using the Power Director app from the Google Play Store. This allows us to put all the devices we review through real world usage so you can see real world results. As always, we only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in. Now you can find these items and related accessories at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. Don't have time to watch the whole video? We're now a podcast you can find on multiple platforms by searching for Pixels Cracked. And if you are listening to this on a podcast, you can find the more detailed video and YouTube channel by searching for Pixels Cracked as well. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's start by talking about power off methods. Now the first method is to swipe down from the top of the display twice and then we'll see a power icon in the top right in this panel here and we're going to tap on that and you're going to see that's going to display our power off menu. Now if we want to exit out of this we can tap on this back arrow in the bottom right hand corner and that brings us back to our main display. Now the second power off method may be a little bit tricky if you don't do it right, but you're going to want to press and hold on the down volume key and the side key at the same time. And then that's going to display our power off menu as well. And again, to exit out of here, we can tap on that back arrow in the bottom right hand corner. So now that we talked about the power off methods that are available by default, let's talk about how to set that side key to display that power off menu. So in order to do this, we're going to swipe down from the top of the screen twice, and then we're going to look for our settings icon. It's in the shape of a gear, and it's going to be in the top right hand corner of this panel here. So we're going to tap on that. Next, we're going to scroll down to advanced features and then tap on that as well. Now moving on to the right side of the display here, we're going to scroll down until we see side key and we're going to tap on that. And now we're going to look for the sub menu titled press and hold. And you can see that we have wake Bixby. Again, that side key is set to activate Bixby by default. But if we want to change it so that it activates the power off menu, we're just going to tap on that option and it's going to highlight that circle blue. Now, if you ever need a refresher on how to power off your Z Fold 3, we also have this option here, how to power off your phone, and tapping on that will show the different methods on how to power off the Z Fold 3. So now that we set that side key to display the power off menu, let's go ahead and give it a try. So here I am at the main screen, and I'm going to press and hold on the side key, and you're going to see that's going to display our power off menu. So let us know in the comments below if you kept that side key to display Bixby by default or if you changed it to display the power off menu. And as always, experiment with this and choose the method that works best for you. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel and podcast. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can support us is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking the subscribe or follow button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the podcast. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. So that is pretty much it. And until next time... Leon checking out.
Yeah. <laughs>